Hello everybody, thank you for watching. This is going to be a tutorial on how to take a vertical hard to watch video that was probably recorded on a camera phone and make it more viewable by adding the blurry sides so that you can view it in a horizontal or landscape orientation. If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe and even leave a comment on what you would like to see on the next tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. I will start by showing you an example of what I'm talking about. Here's a video of my dogs hanging out on the living room floor modeling so I can take this video. And as you can see, it's in vertical. It makes it difficult for viewing on other platforms that are typically in a widescreen or horizontal orientation. So I'm going to show you how we can make this a little easier on the eyes when watching. I'm currently using Shotcut version 191231. If you have an older version, you may want to install or update the newest version. So let's start by making a new project. Let's call it Vertical Video to Horizontal Blur and click Start. Now I will drag in a blank image to make the canvas 1920 by 1080. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this, I'll post a link in the description to explain. I did a previous tutorial on how to uh, rotate and size videos, but the, the program doesn't want to cooperate whenever you rotate. So I made a video on that that I'll post for you. Now to drag that image to the timeline. Now go to the vertical video that you want to edit and drag it into the canvas. You can see that the video is vertical and now it has a black on both sides. Now drag the video down to the timeline, making sure to overlap the white image that we just put in there previously and right click on this green yellow area and select add video track. Then drag the same video down to the new track you just created. Now you have two of the same videos on top of each other. The two videos are required for this, however the audio is not. So right click on the bottom video timeline and select detach audio. And the audio track will appear below it. Right click on the audio and click cut. I also like to get rid of the track completely, but that's up to you. That's just my preference. Just for a brief explanation as to how this works, in case you guys don't know, this top track is the dominant track and it will always appear on top. This track under it is the same video, but will only appear if the top track does not overlap it. So anything in this black area will be visible. So make sure the bottom track is selected when we start adding these filters. So click on filters at the top if it's not already selected and hit the plus sign. In the search field, type in size to bring up size and position and select it. The default setup is to make it fit the top and the left, which is where it was just repositioned to. But we want to also hit distort to stretch the video across the whole canvas and it gives you this effect. Now you want to add one more filter to it. So go back to the filter search bar and type in blur. This brings up blur box, blur exponential, blur Gaussian, blur low pass, and reduce noise smart blur. What we want is blur Gaussian, which is initially set to 20. If you move it to zero, the blur has no effect. But if you move it up some, you get a little bit of blur, move it up more, you get more blur. Move all the way to 100, it blurs it out completely. I found the sweet spot to be right about 70. The reason why is if you move it all the way up, I feel as though the viewer may not know what's happening and it looks almost irrelevant to the video and may be distracting. Where if the blur is too low, there may be too much detail in the blur and also distract the viewer from the main video in the center. And there you have it. You can always add more filters like opacity, brightness, and grain, things like that to make it a little bit more appealing or whatever your preference is, but that's all up to you. So now you can click on export, then export your file, save, and the video will start exporting. Once this is finished, you can right click the job, select show in folder, and then open up the new file. And here it is. The video is now in horizontal orientation with the blurred sides. 
Thank you everybody for watching. If this video has helped you out at all, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any ideas of what you would like to see as a, a tutorial for Shotcut, please let me know in the comments. See you next time, everybody. Take care.